Today marks the first day of in-person voting for the March 5th primary election. Yeah, polls are going to start opening at 8 o'clock this morning. Then they're going to stay open until 5 o'clock each day all the way through Friday. But then early voting continues into this weekend and then throughout next week. So Kennedy Walker joins us live in studio and kind of shares what we're going to be seeing on those ballots. Hey, good morning, Madison and Keith. Yes, in a few hours, we can expect folks to start lining up to cast their votes. In primary elections, you will either be voting in the Republican or Democratic Party and will only only see candidates for those parties on the ballot. Now, the ballot will include candidates listed in alphabetical order for each position. You will be able to cast your vote for president, representatives of the U.S. and Texas houses, as well as the following elected offices, like U.S. Senator, uh, one of three railroad commissioners, 15 state senators, and seven state board of education members. There's also three members of the Texas Supreme Court, three members of the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, five chief justices, and various justices for Texas Courts of Appeals. And for a full list of the races on your ballot, you can go to our website. You can also look at a sample of what your specific ballot will look like on the Texas Secretary of State's website. But coming up in the next half hour, I'll be sharing what you need to bring with you before you get to the polls. Yeah, you certainly can't just show up. So, Kennedy, that's good information for folks to know about.